Coming up, there are lots of events happening on campus for students and family. When we come back, we will also have information on local and national news. The Bipsy News starts now. Live at the studios for Bossier Parish Community College. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Bipsy News. I am Bailey Green. And I'm Judd Daniels. Today is Wednesday, September 27th. September is almost done, and we are close to halfway through our fall semester. You are correct. Time has been flying, but I am ready for pumpkin season to begin. Let's see what's happening with the Bipsy News. Coming up next Tuesday, October 3rd, the Student Government Association will have their weekly meeting at 3.30 in H410. All currently enrolled students are welcome to attend. The SGA members serve as the voice of advocacy for all BIPSI students. In addition, they help make events and activities sponsored by the Office of Student Life on campus possible. If you are interested in finding out more, feel free to attend the meeting or email studentlife at bipsy.edu for more information. Currently happening and running through October the 2nd, the Impromptu Illustrations Exhibit will be on display in the Learning Commons, which is located on the Bipsy Main Campus in Building A. This exhibit features four local artists such as Erica Branch, Irene Gallion, Kirk Reedstorm, and our very own Alex Richardson. It's most definitely a must-see and can be viewed during normal business hours on Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and on Fridays from 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. New this fall is Cavs Talks, which is a discussion series inspired by TED Talks, brought to you by Bipsy's Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences Division. Earlier today, our very own Daniel Vines talked on the writing process, and it was an awesome presentation. Make sure to join our campus experts for captivating stories and insightful discussions. Catch the next one on October 11th in the Bipsy Theater on Digital Literacy. Hope to see you there. In faculty and staff news, the Louisiana Community and Technical College System is hosting a conference offering professional development. It will, be, it will feature experts, presenters, and three days of networking. Each year, over 1,500 employees are invited to the largest event of its kind in the state. It is scheduled for today through Friday, September 29th. This year's conference is being held at the Hilton Riverside Hotel in New Orleans, Louisiana. Wow, this fall is off to a busy start on campus, and I know there are more Community events coming. Let's see what Josh has to say about the weather. Fall's here and hopefully so is the breeze. After the break, we'll have your local weather forecast. From the time I was born, I was in a theatrical family. And now I'm dean of the division and pretty much the uh, director of the theater aspects. I love that people come to theater to experience the pain and tragedy and joy of other people's lives. I think that's kind of a beautiful thing. It's a release. The whole experience of being on stage, it's scary, but I think it's, it's kind of worth it because you get this adrenaline rush, you get all these emotions that you don't get to feel every day. I haven't found a similar experience quite like it yet. It comes to a point where everything around me is real. The theater is the one art form that encompasses all art forms. It's not about the final product other than the experience that happens when it happens. As a student, you learn like every aspect of theater. You know, you learn costuming, you learn lighting, you know, you're building sets every day and you're in makeup class and, and you also, you know, take directing and acting. I mean, you do it all. The hardest thing for some students to, to grasp is the language that they're dealing with and you have to help them along. So when I find a student who has a lot of talent but needs some encouragement in other areas, that's the ones I really enjoy working with the most, I think. Well, the faculty and staff at Bossier Parish Community College is absolutely fantastic. They wish they could keep you forever and they love you and all that, but they want you to spread your wings and fly and they are seriously preparing you for that. We're looking to increase our audience development, which will bring in more people to see how wonderful our students are and how many opportunities that we can give them. Also giving the experience to the students that they need so they can get out of here with their degree and get a job. Good morning, I'm Joshua Lynch, and here's your Bipsy Tense for September 27th. 
On this Wednesday, we have partly cloudy with an expected temperature of 81 degrees. The humidity for today is at a 60%, a dew point at a 57 degrees. The winds at 5 miles per hour to the north, and our sunset is expected to be at 7.04 p.m. Now for our current temps in our other places, at Marshall, it was expected to be at 81 degrees. Nacogdoches is expected to be at 83. Texarkana at a cool 80, 75. Ruston and Minden both at 80, and then to end it off, Nacogdoches at 85. Now, for your five-day forecast on Wednesday, of course, we stated it's partly cloudy with 16% chance of rain and 84 at its highest, 64 at its lowest. Thursday as well is also going to be partly cloudy with 11% chance of rain, 85 at its highest and 64 degrees at its lowest. Thankfully, it seems like the clouds are going to go away starting on Friday, so we'll only have at most 24% chance of rain with 87 at its highest, 68, 66 degrees at its lowest. And then on Saturday as well, it should be, it should be sunny with only a 20% chance of rain, 88 degrees at its highest and 65 at its lowest. And then to top it all off on Sunday, we're expected to get a bright, bright day, barely 5% chance of rain, 89 degrees at its highest and 65 at its lowest. That's all for the weather forecast. Now back to you, Judd. Well, it looks like the region in with weather is here to stay. Speaking of the region, let's look at some local stories for this week. Fall brings forth many great things, one being the seasonal Red River Revel, which begins September 30th and ends on October the 8th. The festival will be held at the Festival Plaza, where many families can enjoy the fun. The Revel also hosts 5,000 fourth graders each year during school hours for academic arts education program. The program is organized by Caddo and Bozier Educational Professionals. Revel offers an assortment of fun and family accommodating encounters including tasty pleasures, cool beverages, in excess of 80 visual artists in 15 mediums, in excess of 60 exhibitions in various classes, and exercises for all ages. For more information on the, fest on the festival visit, please visit redriverrebel.com. LSUS is ranked highest among the nation's best in economic mobility index. The Economic Mobility Index is a metric system that measures how efficiently institutions help low-income students improve their economic level. This week, LSUS just earned Tier 1 status, meaning it ranked in the top 20% of the more than 1,300 colleges evaluated. For car enthusiasts, a short drive to Natchitoches, Louisiana this weekend might be just what you need because this weekend marks the 17th annual Classic Car Show featuring over 400 classic cars. The show will run from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Friday the 29th and will continue on Saturday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the 30th. The car show will be fun for the whole family with food, activities, and live music. Adding to the car show in Natchitoches, while you're down there, make sure to take your friends for a little scare afterwards. Dark Woods Haunted Annual Attraction is now open, located in the Dark Woods Adventure Park, located at 4334 University Parkway. The event starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 11 p.m. For more information about the attraction, check out darkwoodspark.com. Well, it looks like a very eventful week for the area, so let's see how that will line up with this week's sports. After the break, we will have the lowdown on what sports to watch in the coming days, so stay tuned.
Welcome back, I'm Ryan Miles. Let's see what's happening in the sports world. For all of my baseball fans out there tonight, you can catch the Texas Rangers going head to head with the Los Angeles Angels. In game three, the Angels have home field advantage. First pitch is at 8.38 p.m. CDT. As sports continue into the weekend, college football is underway and football fans have had their eyes on the University of Connecticut to see if the predictions and observations are as colorful this season as they were in the season's past. UConn has been revealing a brand new ensemble of talent this season with new recruits from the farthest reach of the country. Running backs Devontae Harris from Revoke, Alabama is leading the team in rushing yards. Catch their next game September 30th at 12 p.m. Eastern as they face off against Utah State. If you need a football fix before Saturday, check out Louisiana Tech football as the conference play kicks off against UTEP in El Paso on Friday at 8 p.m. local time. Coach Crombie and the Bulldogs are looking for a big game from their transfer quarterback, Hank Bachmeyer. Hopefully the Bulldogs can get the victory. That was your sports news. I'm Ryan Miles. Let's get back to the news desk. Thanks, Ryan. I know what games I'll be watching this weekend. Switching over to national news now, Mediterranean Storm Daniel has left a path of destruction causing massive flooding in northeastern Libya. Emergency workers have uncovered more than 1,500 bodies in the wreckage of the city of Derna, and it was estimated the toll could surpass 5,000 after two dams were destroyed from the storm. Three new COVID variants are spreading across the country, leading people to think about wearing masks again. COVID cases are growing nationwide. Two school districts in eastern Kentucky had to suspend in-person classes as almost 20% of students were out sick, along with a high number of staff members out as well. Well, hopefully the school's actions will slow the spread of COVID and they can get back to the classes soon. It also reminds us that we need to stay diligent in hand washing and other precautions as well as we head into flu season. On Friday, September 8th, tragedy struck Morocco. An earthquake listed the strongest to hit the nation's center since the 1960s. Registered on the Richter scale with a magnitude of 6.8, it also hit shallow depths, which led to harsher damages. As cleanup has started, reports show the earthquake has claimed around 2,900 people's lives and another 5,500 have sustained injuries in this horrific event. This year, it has been calculated that the U.S. weather has experienced 23-plus disasters so far. In fact, Florida has been hit with several hurricanes recently. Each occurrence continues to cause damage for the state. As a country, the extreme weather has brought expenses over $1 billion this year. Prayers go out to the families who lost everything. Well, hopefully we can get a break from the severe weather we have been having this year. Speaking of breaks, after the break, we will transition and have the latest news on what's happening in Hollywood. Acting is a career, it's not a job. It's a passion, it's an art and a science. Yes, you wanna go to Bipsy. <laughs> your career, your future, your aspirations. Bipsy's healthcare programs make them a reality. Bipsy changes students' lives by opening doors to them so that they can see their future and they can have the qualifications to go out and uh, become whatever they're able to become. It's the best thing that I could have ever done. Hands-on, lifelike scenarios, labs and training. Bossier Parish Community College offers all of this and more. The Sim Lab, it's really great. I didn't know that no other school had it. Yeah, we have an ambulance, we have simulators, we have task trainers, basically any piece of equipment that a student might see in the field. With a 100% pass rate on certification and licensure exam, and most importantly, 100% employment rate for Allied Health graduates, Bipsy trains with state-of-the-art hospital simulations and EMT emergencies. We always want them to check off a skill in lab on plastic before they do it in real life. We have respiratory therapy, occupational therapy assistants, physical therapy assistants, nursing students, LPN to RN nursing students, 
They all come through the simulation lab. We have one of the best sim labs in the state. From cutting edge lab techniques to personal training with a 10 to 1 student teacher ratio, Bossier Parish Community College gives you practical knowledge with the latest teaching technology, innovation, and inspiration for your career and for your future. With more than 14 programs in the healthcare industry, you can start your path to a healthcare career at Bossier Parish Community College. The BBC paramedic program prepared me to go out and save lives in the community. These students are getting out making 80, 90, 100,000 a year. Turn your passion for helping people into a career in healthcare. Bossier Parish Community College's experience, training, and knowledge will help make your dreams a reality. We're the front line of the healthcare in the EMS profession, EMTs and paramedics. I have gotten phone calls from nurses that I've worked with in the past, and they say, Terry, your nursing students are some of the best we've ever had. This is kind of the best. It starts with you here at Bossier Parish Community College. Go where you feel like you need to go, but Bipsy is a place where you need to be. In entertainment news, today the new Exorcist movie is coming out and it is set to break records. The remake of an old classic is sure to please horror fans everywhere. The film centers around two girls instead of just one. The remake comes 50 years from the day of the original film's release. It's the first of three new Exorcist films to be released, with the second film, Deceiver, to be released in April 2025. The name of the third film has still yet to be announced, and The Exorcist is known as one of the scariest movies of all time. The highly anticipated release of the film has moviegoers lining up as pre-sale tickets are sold out. The film is set to be released October 6, 2023. In music news, Beyonce has been on her Renaissance World Tour since May the 10th. The tour has had record-breaking ticket sales just as its counterpart, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour has. Queen Bee's tour now has broken the record for the biggest tour in music history and is expected to gross up to $2.4 billion. If you haven't seen it yet, you have two more opportunities to, as tonight she will be playing in New Orleans and then on October 1st she will be on stage in Kansas City. In other entertainment news, this week marks the final week of the SAG-AFTRA strike. On September 25th, it was announced that AFTRA had agreed to a deal to bring the writer's strike to an end. This is great news as the 144 days that these writers have spent without working will not be for nothing. But while the writer's strike is over, no deal has been agreed for for the Screen Actors Guild. Due to this, actors are still not cleared to work but with there being no end in the near future, negotiation talks have been and are still being held with the studios to bring fair pay to everyone in the entertainment industry. We will bring you more as this story unfolds. Supposed report this week that a seemingly viral AI song that nearly replicated vocals by Drake and The Weeknd was submitted for consideration for next year's Grammy Awards. Recording Academy Chief Harvey Mason Jr. took to social media to shoot down inaccurate information around the eligibility of AI songs. Because the vocals were not legally obtained from the artist, they cannot be eligible for the award, Mason Jr. added. He also said he now advocates for human creators and artists after this situation. Mason and Academy released a statement saying they will not be awarding a Grammy to an AI. But he did say that the Grammys wanted to honor music created with AI elements. But fundamentally, the song must be made by humans as well, and humans must have the largest role in the track. That's it for entertainment. Let's head over to Josh for out the door weather. Hey guys, before we head out, here's your upcoming temps today. On Wednesday, it's expected to be partly cloudy with a 60 with a 16% chance of rain, 84 at its highest, 64 at its lowest. On Thursday, it's as well as going to be partly cloudy with an 11% chance of rain, 85 at its highest and 64 degrees at its lowest. At Friday, we're expecting to see a bright sunny day with only a 24% chance of rain, 87 degrees at its highest and 66 degrees at its lowest. That is all for your out the door weather. Have a great week, everyone. And back to the news desk. Thank you for the weather update, Josh. There are a lot of events happening this weekend, so hopefully good weather will hold out. I hope so too, Judd, and thank you for all joining us today. I am Bailey Green. And I'm Judd Daniels. From all of us here at Bipsy, stay safe and stay informed.